recently here at tonight's Heart of America, and we meet the NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away, the Voyager 1. After more than 45 years hurtling through the cosmos, Voyager 1, NASA's most distant spacecraft, has released a final transmission that has stunned the scientific community and sent a shiver down the spine of anyone who has ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what lies beyond. As the faint signal pierced the veil of interstellar space, it brought with it data unlike anything ever recorded at the edge of the solar system. What Voyager 1 uncovered in that last transmission has confirmed a long-held fear, a possibility that had lingered on the fringes of speculation for decades. Something unknown is out there, lurking in the shadows just beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades and the interstellar medium begins. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. For decades, the Voyager probes have served as humankind's robotic emissaries to the stars. Voyager 1, in particular, has been on a silent odyssey, venturing farther than any other man-made object. It has passed the planets, crossed the boundaries of the Kuiper Belt, and finally escaped the sun's magnetic reach. But in recent months, mission scientists noticed something odd, a series of irregularities in the data stream. Initially dismissed as mere anomalies, perhaps the result of aging hardware or interference from cosmic rays, these inconsistencies grew stranger with each passing day. Voyager's signals became more erratic, but not in the way one would expect from a malfunction. They began to take on a pattern, almost rhythmic, and embedded within that pattern was a message, not of words, but of physical phenomena, a change in the environment so abrupt, so profound, that it demanded attention. As the signal was decoded, it revealed something unexpected, an immense distortion in the magnetic field at the edge of the heliopause. The solar wind, which typically slows and dissipates gradually upon reaching the interstellar medium, appeared to have collided with an opposing force. This was not the smooth, textbook-like transition scientists had modeled for decades. Instead, the boundary region showed signs of intense compression, like the heliosphere was being squeezed from the outside. Not only that, Voyager's instruments detected a dramatic spike in high-energy particle counts, far exceeding the levels predicted by cosmic ray interactions alone. These were not ordinary particles. These were accelerated to such extremes that no known solar event could explain their presence. The final transmission carried one last burst of data before the signal faded into silence. Within it was an unexpected shift in directionality, as if the spacecraft had been gently nudged, not by gravity, not by momentum, but by some external influence, subtle yet undeniable. The onboard magnetometer, which had remained steady for years, recorded a violent oscillation moments before transmission ceased. Voyager 1 was still intact, but something had clearly interacted with it, and then abruptly it went dark. The fear that had long haunted astrophysicists and cosmologists was now manifest. The solar system may not be as isolated as once believed. This wasn't just a matter of natural forces. The data did not conform to any known astrophysical phenomena. It hinted at structure, regularity order, amid the cosmic chaos. One segment of the data stream captured a low-frequency pulse, recurring at precise intervals, completely unrelated to Voyager's systems. The signal seemed to be ambient surrounding the craft. It didn't originate from Earth, nor from the Sun, nor any nearby stars. For decades, space had been considered a vacuum of unpredictability, but Voyager's final transmission painted a new picture, one that suggested an organized presence just beyond the boundary of human understanding. The implications of this discovery are staggering. First and foremost, it forces a re-evaluation of our understanding of interstellar space. Until now, the area beyond the heliopause was thought to be a tranquil, sparsely populated void filled with drifting particles and feeble magnetic fields. Voyager has now proven that this region is anything but empty. The patterns recorded suggest interaction, deliberate or circumstantial, with a force or structure we have yet to define. Could it be a natural cosmic feature, one we've never observed because we've never looked beyond our sun's influence? Or does it represent something artificial, something ancient and vast, something that has been waiting silently beyond the limits of our perception? The sudden increase in particle density and the magnetic anomalies imply the presence of either a hidden celestial body or a technological construct with immense energy. If natural, it could be a previously undetected interstellar phenomenon, perhaps a rogue planet-sized object enveloped in a dense electromagnetic field, drifting near the edge of our system. 
but its complete absence from all other observations argues against this. The fact that only Voyager's instruments detected it, and only at the very moment of closest approach, suggests it is either invisible by conventional telescopic methods, or able to manipulate how it is perceived. The notion of an artificial construct immediately brings with it questions of intent. If something is out there, shaping the edge of the heliosphere, it may have noticed Voyager's approach. The rhythmic energy pulses and the force exerted on the probe, too subtle to be a collision, too precise to be natural turbulence, hint at either passive interaction like an automated defense field or active observation like a sensor responding to an incoming foreign object. This raises a profound possibility that the edge of our solar system is not a natural limit, but a boundary set by others. Throughout history, every frontier humanity has reached has come with a discovery that changes how we view the universe and ourselves. When Galileo pointed his telescope at Jupiter and saw its moons, it redefined Earth's place in the cosmos. When radio signals first penetrated the atmosphere, we opened a window to the stars. Now, with Voyager's final transmission, we may have reached the outer threshold not just of the sun's influence, but of our own solitude. The probe did not just transmit data, it left us a warning, or perhaps a whisper, that we are not alone in the dark. The magnetic field anomalies present the most puzzling element. Normally, as solar wind slows and becomes turbulent near the heliopause, magnetic field lines stretch and fluctuate. But Voyager recorded a snap, a sudden inversion followed by near total silence. This is not a natural collapse. It was precise, almost like a controlled shutdown. The magnetometer readings looked like a mirrored echo of their own earlier data, a kind of synthetic feedback loop. It was as if the field around Voyager responded to its presence, mirroring and then neutralizing its capacity to observe. And then, just like that, the signal ended. Many will ask whether this is truly something to fear. After all, Voyager has long passed beyond where solar power is useful, and its signal was expected to fade eventually. But the timing, the pattern, and the nature of the data defy any benign explanation. This wasn't a slow death by entropy, it was a decisive end. Something cut the thread, and if it did so deliberately, it suggests awareness. Whether that awareness is curious, protective, or hostile remains unknown. There is another chilling layer to consider. Voyager wasn't just drifting aimlessly, it was broadcasting. Its golden record with sounds and images of Earth was meant as a greeting to the stars. But in doing so, it declared our presence, our location, our biology, our civilization. If something has intercepted Voyager, then it has also intercepted that message. It knows we exist, and now it may know exactly where to look. Voyager's mission has often been celebrated as a triumph of exploration, a symbol of humanity's relentless desire to reach beyond. But exploration, by its nature, involves risk. To cross a threshold is to challenge the unknown, and sometimes the unknown challenges back. The edge of the solar system is no longer a silent curtain, it is a gateway, and behind it may lie forces we are not yet equipped to comprehend. The scientific community now faces an urgent imperative. Instruments aboard other spacecraft, like the interstellar boundary explorer IBEX and the New Horizons probe, are being reoriented to scan the region where Voyager vanished. Ground-based observatories are combing the sky for any electromagnetic echoes, any trace of what could have caused the disruption. So far, there is only silence, but in that silence, there is a wait, a sense that something has shifted. Astronomers are re-evaluating years of heliospheric models, looking for overlooked clues. The sudden intensification of cosmic rays might be a symptom, or it might be a signal. Was Voyager the first to encounter it simply by chance? Or has this force been there all along, hiding just out of reach, waiting for a probe to venture close enough to trigger a response? No one expected the final moment of Voyager's journey to be marked by such profound mystery. It was supposed to be a slow fade, a graceful bow as the spacecraft succumbed to time and distance. Instead, it delivered a revelation, a confirmation that at the boundary of the known, the universe may not be empty, and our explorations have not gone unnoticed. As the data continues to be scrutinized, one thing is clear. We stand at the edge of an even greater unknown. Voyager's last breath has not closed a chapter. It has opened a new one, written in signals and silence, in pulses and shadows. The edge of the solar system is no longer a final frontier. It is the beginning of something else, something we cannot yet name but which we now know is there, waiting. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager's final transmission at the solar system's edge? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, 
and see you next time.